Hey guys, I'm super excited to bring you the September hip kit. The, it's the main kit, the pattern paper add-on, and then the embellishment add-on. So I'm just going to jump right in showing you the papers. This first paper is from the new Dear Lizzie line called Documentary. And this one is called Bear Hug. Let me move the other ones. And it's this really pretty, like kind of magenta or fuchsia and white bold stripe but it has a bunch of like coloring and distressing on it it's really cool and then the back side is a fun it's almost watercolory because the polka dots are like a dark dark gray but they have like dimension in them like there's some spots that are darker gray and some spots that are lighter gray they're really really cool so that's the first paper i'm just gonna stick these in my basket over here and then the second one is from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers line. This one's called Seeker, and it is this awesome navy with a yellow, kind of a minty green and gray pattern on it. And then the back side is this really cool pattern. I love the blues in that, in that line. Back to Dear, Dear Lizzie Documentary. This one's called Me and You with all the ampersands. And then a really nice wood grain. Finders Keepers again. This is called Bright Eyes. And then a real pretty, I love this cobalt blue. Especially for the fall, I think it'll be really pretty. Another Finders Keepers. I love this floral. I, I love floral patterns, but I really love these. this one that's like in these different colors with the black and the gray. And the back is a nice... Um, kind of polka dotty pattern that you could use as a background. And then this paper is from Ellie's Studio. It's from the Thankful line and it's called Sweater. And it's kind of a purpley gray and a cream pattern. And then the other side is this kind of ECAT or ICAT pattern. This one's from Dear Lizzie Documentary. I love this paper. It's one of my favorites with the yellow hearts. And the other side is a kind of teal on cream sort of scattered polka dot and then the last paper in the main kit is the um ellie studio thankful called fun times another pretty blue paper and then the opposite side is are these cool kind of triangles so really fun papers this month i really like them and a good mix of different kind of you have the floral and a lot, lots of graphic, like geometric patterns. And then some, the B sides are kind of very neutral, soft patterns, I think. Then if you get the pattern paper add-on, the, the difference is that you get this really cool paper from Finders Keepers and it has all these cutout shapes. Like these are cut out, the glasses, the words, the camera, and they have these, this pineapple are all cut out. And the back side is this um, yellow and white stripe. And then you get, I believe all the other papers are the same. Yeah. So you get an extra paper if you get the, the pattern paper add-on. And if you're a new subscriber and you use the code Kate, you'll get a free pattern paper add-on for subscribing. Okay, so those are all the papers this month. And I'm going to show you the embellishments that go with the main kit now. You get a pack of Wonder die cut phrases, and this is what they look like. I'll, show, I'll open those in a second. Let me show you the bigger things, and then I'll zoom in and show you these closer up things. So the alphabet is from Dear Lizzie. I believe this is from the new line documentary. It's called Noted. And it's a really cool um, cork alpha. And it has these, um, I love these directionals. And then one set of numbers, but tons of 166 pieces. So tons of letters. And then also one of my favorite things are these daily flash. These are in the color Deep Sea from October afternoon. Then you also get the um, kind of tile stickers on the back, which I think is fun. So let me um, zoom in and I will show you these embellishments. So 
So these are from the Crepe Paper Wonderline, and we had um, several, a couple things last month in our kits from this line also. So what I think I'm going to do this month is do three videos using just this month's kit, and then do one project using some things from last month's kit, which I'll show at the end of the video. And um, I think that will be fun to show you how to incorporate last month's and this month's. So these are all the chipboard um, titles. And so there's four of those, and then there's three wood veneer pieces. So you have the hello, the love, and then this kind of cutout one that says smile. So those are very cool. So I'm going to put those in my little tray that I kind of stick my kit embellishments in. And then there are these, a whole pack of these wood slices. And these are pretty interesting. So I'm going to open these and show you what these look like. There are six pieces. And I'm wondering if you can stamp on these. You probably can. I would probably use like a stays on ink. The, my only question or concern would be that it would run. Like it would run. But I don't think that it will because I've actually stamped on wood before. So I think that would be fun. But they're probably about like a quarter of an inch thick, I would say. They're they're relatively light. They look like they might be heavier than they are. There's some of my little bark is falling off. I'll have to glue that back. So those are fun and different, and I'm I'm interesting interested to see what I can do with those. Love these heart enamel shapes. Those are awesome. And then the rub-ons. And I've showed these in a video before, but what I think I'm gonna do is get a piece of I can find one, a piece of dark cardstock or just any color cardstock really. Maybe craft would work. And try to show you because they're, here's a yellow. There's a, one page of the rub-ons is white. And so it's it's been really hard for people to show. I guess, I don't even know if you can see it there. Maybe if I take the, the backer off. I don't want to get them stuck, but I want you to be able to see them. Does that work? Oh yeah, that works. Okay, so you have unbelievable, golden, the bicycle, a zebra, a tree, some stars, and then some little like sketchy patterns. So those are really fun. And you're gonna to want to use those on obviously like a darker cardstock so that you can see them because they don't really show up if not. And then of course the colored ones that are super cute. I love these. I've I have a pack and I've already used a bunch of them. So those are the embellishments. And, and then the last one, oh sorry, some of the embellishments. And then the last one is a set of the printed cardstock and acetate shapes with gold foil. And these are also from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers line. And I'll just quickly show you what is in here. Okay, sorry about that. Mailman was there and the dogs were going crazy. So you get a ton of embellishments or little pieces in this die cut set. And some of them have some gold foiling on them. And then some of them are acetate. I don't think I've gotten to those yet, but there's a bunch. Oh, and some tags too. Those tags are really cute. Camera. Oh, here's the acetate one. So those are, that's the majority of the cardstock ones. And there you can see there's some gold foil. And then here's some acetate pieces. Love the pineapple. Totally little ampersand and a camera. So that's everything that comes in the main scrapbooking kit. And then I also have the embellishment add-on. And then there's also a project life kit and a um, color add-on this, this month. Well, every month usually. So there's some really fun pieces in this embellishment add-on this month. And the first one is this 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard from the Wonderline, and this definitely has a bunch of beautiful gold foiling on it. I love these arrows. Look at the little houses at the bottom. They're super cute. Then the frames, just really, really cute. Cute icons and things, and that'll be really fun to use. Then you're gonna get a bag, and these may vary um, from kit to kit, but I got four gold arrow paper clips, 
and then I know that the, and the little glassy bag which I'll definitely use and these will probably be different these are from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers line and they're the stitched tags so the word adventure is stitched and then on this one the word happiness is stitched and these are done in like watercolors and Amy Tangerine's handwriting which is super fun then there's also this cutout camera which is super cute and then um, this one, which I really love, that says we are on a very special journey called life. And the special and the life are stitched with black thread. So those are really fun. And then you also get this awesome washi tape book. I love that they're doing these now because you get so many patterns. And it's just enough to get a good taste of the washi and not be stuck with a whole roll. So there's 48 pieces here. I believe you get two of each sheet. And some of them have gold flowing on them. I love these little zebras. So there, there'll be two of that sheet and then two of this one. And the heart there is gold, if you can see. And the stripe, diagonal stripe on that mint one is also gold. And it's fun because you get some patterns that aren't like in the papers, you know. There's a gold polka dot. And then this XOXO on the craft is gold. So, so much fun. I love washi tape and using it on projects. Then this alphabet, which is really cool and different, it's called Follow, and this is from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers line, and you can see that it's this nice block uppercase alpha, and it's in a wood grain, but then it has blockings of colors on it, which is, I think, just really cool. I'm interested to see how it looks on a layout. There's no numbers. There's some exclamation marks, but that's it as far as punctuation goes. So that should be fun. And there's 90 pieces. They're called faux dimensional stickers. Oh, interesting. And then also, if you like to make mixed titles, like with subtitles and things, this is perfect. This is the Ellie Studio, and this is in a light gray color. It has tons of letters on it. I mean, tons. There's 300. All the punctuation you need, four of all the numbers, and there are six zeros. So that's cool if you want to do the date a lot. And it's a mix of an upper and lowercase font. And then the last thing is the wood buttons from the new Dear Lizzie documentary line. These are very cool. They have adhesive on the back. They're not really buttons. There's no buttonholes in them. They're just like little wood veneer circles with different patterns on them. So that is the main kit and embellishment add-on for, <coughs> excuse me, for the September hip kits. So stay tuned for videos using these projects. And I can't wait to see what y'all make with them. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.